So uh, this is the, the first thing. We're going to assume, uh, if you would like to do a main merge, that you're going to create a folder where all the three files, the three required files are going to be saved. Okay. So I'm going to create that folder. Imagine I'm, I'm going to, let's say this is your drive D and I'm going to, let's say, let me find my drive D. Uh, well, let's say this is your drive D, okay? This is not the same than yours, but I'm going just going to be following the same steps. I'm going to this drive D and create a new folder. Maybe click on here, create a new folder. Oops, no, that's not what I want. And I'm going to call it merge one. So in that folder, I'll be having, I'll be saving the three files. Uh, the first file, as of as it is required here, is this letter. So in the letter, you're going to see that I have included all these things. You have to keep them as well. So I'm, let me just, I'm assuming that I'm going to type, or let me save it as a new, uh, create a new. Okay, I'm going to be creating a new. And I'm going to, no, that's not what I want. Uh, maybe I, s I copied more than I needed. Okay, anyways, uh, let me paste it and then I'm going to remove what I don't need. Okay, this one, I don't need it, so I'm going to delete it. So imagine I just typed this. Just typed as it was asked. Okay, I just typed it. But notice that these name are here. I just typed them with less than, greater than. These are, have nothing to do now, but I'm going to make them change after I got my list and make these change later on. So you can type your, your name and ID here. Let's say okay, Mohammed123. 361101123. Okay, I'm going to save this same thing in drive D. Oh, let me find out my drive D again. And in merge one. And what's the name? Okay, I don't see it. Actually, it was. I, d I don't see it now. And anyway, let me cancel the saving. So I can see the name. I can. This is the name of that I want it to be. Merge one dash letter i'm going to do the same now save in <coughs> this place merge one dot letter dash letter and save so if i go to this drive d and go to this merge one i'm going to see that i have this first document over here and that's it i'm going to close this one so i prepared the, the letter i saved it and then i close it the second thing i need to do is to prepare the list which is one thing that i need to do is just i have this so how to prepare the list, actually it's very easy. Let me just okay, save the name so I don't have to go back to it. I'm going to go here and then click, click on new. Okay, I'm going to insert a table. That's what you need to do. In this list, in order for it to work as expected, in the first line, don't type anything. Don't go back to the line, don't type anything here, because if you do so, it will create some problems for you. You're, you're not going to be able to do the merge easily. You're going to suffer a little bit. So in order to avoid do, uh, having some problems, when you create your, your list, the first thing that you do when you go to this place is just insert the table. And in the table, you just need to look at what's the size of the table, one, two, three, four, five in columns, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in terms of rows. So five columns and seven rows. If I need more, I can just go here and then type whatever I need. Five columns, seven rows. Okay. And that's it. Here you start typing. Okay. You start typing all the text that is in here. And then that's it. Uh, just let's just, mm -hmm. um, what about this? Okay. So I'm just going to delete this extra row. I don't know why I ended up with it. Let me just delete this row. So you should end up with something like this. Uh, it's interesting also if you can put this, uh, the first, this first, uh, uh, as you can see here, the, f the first titles are all bold. 
it's not mandatory to do it, but it's better so you can easily you can see your uh, data there. Okay, so now that I have this, all I need to do is save. So it's I remember it's merge one list. So I have now two files. I have my merge letter and my list. Now I need to merge them both. So in order to do that, I need to go back to the letter. So what I need to do now is to merge the letter and the list and save it as, this is the name that I should save it as in, in the same folder. Okay, so now this is the new thing. So I opened the letter back. So this is the letter that I typed. Now I'm going to make this linked to the other file that I have here, this list over here. See this first name, for example, I just would like it to be, the name here should be first name and last name, for example. The address, I'm going to put the address from here. The, the phone number that I have somewhere here, telephone, I'm going to make this as like the phone number, the home telephone here. So I'm going to get all these, I'm going to have like six letters. Each letter will be having the same content, dear, and then the name should be Katie Morgan, for example. And then dear Paul Irwin. Dear, I will have different pages, and each page will have a different content with the same format. So how can we do that? Okay, so you go to this mailing over here. You see, in this mailing, this is start mail merge. Okay, actually we can just skip it. You can just go here and select the recipient. Notice that first these are disabled, that I cannot do anything with them. Because uh, first of all, I need to select my list. Where is my list that I'm going to attach to this document? So I'm click here, and I'm going to say use existing list. So this is the first step that you should not forget. Step number one, select recipients, use existing list. I'm going to find it out. I know what it is, right? It's in drive D. I uh, find drive D, merge one, and list. So you see that if you don't know, if you forgot, when you saved your file, you're going to get lost. And it's going to create some problems with you. Uh, just in case, I don't know if it's, this is going to create a problem, I'm just going to, this is, my, this is my list, I'm going to close it. I don't want to keep them open. I don't know if I'll be able to do that while this is working. Well, anyways, let's try it. I haven't tried it while this is open. Okay, so it worked fine. So it's possible to keep this open. It's not a big deal. I was thinking maybe I might have a problem, but clearly I don't. So notice now, once I have selected the file, uh, because it was detected correctly and I didn't have any mistake in that file, I did everything went fine. N now everything went fine. I'm able to see these things. So we said step one, select recipients, use existing list. Step two, I need to replace these things here. So instead of now name, I'm going to see what are the different fields that I have. If I click on now insert merge fields, you can see these names. These are exactly the same titles that I had here. Customer ID, first name, last name, address, home telephone. So it was able to extract this information from the list. So now here, I don't want this to be name. I'm going to do, for example, first name, put a space, and then last name. Did you realize that this is not something that I typed? I just selected. It's a field. It's not like an, any simple text. The next thing that I would like to insert is the address. So I have the address here. And then the last thing is about the phone number. I'm going to select this and then home telephone. Notice that there is this customer ID that I don't need. It's there, but I don't need it. It's OK. No problem. I don't have to use everything. So I'm using this now. So we said step number one again. Select recipients. Use the existing list. Step number two. You go to <coughs> insert merge fields and you put them where they belong. Step number three, the last one. Finish and merge. And then we don't want to print, OK? We don't want to send emails. This is what we'd like to do. Edit individual documents. Now, as soon as I click here, the two documents are going to be merged. In another third document, notice now, I will, I will have in like three Word documents open. This is like the exercise. 
let me just close some so you can clearly see this is the exercise so with the instructions I'm going to close this this is my letter this is my list so now if when I click on finish and edit individual documents it is going to ask me merge records I keep them all I don't change anything I just click OK and now notice I have a third document this is my third document in my third document you notice now what I have dear Katy Morgan with the address phone number another page dear Paul Irwin his address his phone number dear and safe and uh, and so on Ibrahim and you can see I will have how many pages six pages I can see them here so because I had six people if I add more I'll be having more so that's as easy as this uh, select recipient this is number one use existing list number two insert merge fields you insert them where they have to be step number three you finish and edit individual documents and that's it the last and very important step is to save all what we did because now notice if I close this one it will tell me do you want to save did I change something yes I did you know I inserted those fields now and in the quiz I want this to see those fields I want to see them so if you say no if you don't save if you cancel whatever if you don't save you're not going to be uh, having the full mark for that you're going to lose some marks so just click save whenever you ask do you want to save your first answer is yes oh it says permission error do you, uh, this is because I'm I don't know why well that's interesting due to five permission error but I had the permission to save now I can't weird um, anyways uh, normally you should not see this uh, error message you should save it should work uh, it should save it uh, the second thing the list if I, if I close it you're not going to tell me anything because I didn't make any change since the last save now I just would like to close this and maybe let me sh let me show you if I don't save what I'll be having so I'm not saving and then look here this document also this is the one that I need to save it so this is the one that I need to save as merge one complete how I know that this is complete because I remember in the exercise I have put as the name merge one complete this is the merged result so the merge one complete let me save it this is the one that I have this merge of the two the list and the letter now if I close I will go back to here I'll have three <coughs> files okay so very important if you forgot to save your letter when I open it for example I see this and this is what I don't want to see this I want to see the fields so I don't know why I had this problem before uh, without saving normally you should be able to save and uh, if you something wrong happens I need to do it again so go to mailing select recipients use existing list and then I need to select drive D merge this is my list and then these are available now I go here I, I can either select or delete it's the same thing insert first name space last name if I forgot to put the space it's not going to be to be easily readable it's like you have a name and first name last name stuck together now the address and the phone number just make sure that you insert them in the right place and then the last step finish and edit individual documents okay and I have the result so I don't need to save this again if I close you do you want to save well in this case I don't want because I have it already uh, but for your case you always save now let me close it will ask me do you want to save I say yes I don't know why now it's working yes well this folder this merge one should be under a folder with your ID and name no uh, what I meant 
For example, inside this is drive D, okay? There are many different folders. You should create your own folder. Uh, like uh, usual, you put your ID and name. And inside that folder, you're going to be putting the all your exercise folders. You put them there. So that's what I meant. So you create your folder in drive D because you know every time there's a quiz or a midterm, all uh, the content of drive D is deleted, erased. So just now create again your folder with your ID and name. And in that folder, create another folder called merge one because we're going to be doing many exercises. And each exercise is going to be in a separate folder. Each folder will have three files. The, the letter, the list, and the merge that was completed. Any other questions?